Here's a video I put together using Paragon software to back up and restore my system drive, my C drive, uh, in case of disaster recovery or if you upgrade the disk. But if uh, your disk fails and you lose it all, you want to be sure you're going to get it back. So I did a backup and then I went and did a restore. So uh, I'll run you through it. Okay, I put my recovery media, the USB stick, in there. Now have a look here. What I'm running here at the moment on this PC is Windows 10 Pro. Okay, now I've already done this exercise. So I have a copy of Windows 11, which I'm now going to put back on this machine. Okay, I have loaded Paragon. And when it loads, you can see here my new backup. And then here, it's what what I want to back up. Now, I don't want the entire computer. I don't want files and folders. I want disks or volumes. And the one I want is I want the entire disk, which I call the C drive, which you can see has four partitions on it. And I want all of those. So that's fine. I say OK. And then I select the destination, which in this case is another hard disk on the computer uh, in a folder that I've called complete C drive 20th of the 11th, 21. And I say OK. And I go back up now and off it jolly well goes. So now I want to restore Windows 11 onto this PC and overwrite Windows 10. So I'm going to go into the BIOS uh, any second now, as soon as it comes up. There we are, BIOS coming up. And I want to change my boot order from booting from the hard disk here to the USB. So I just drag the USB over to there. I get out of that and I save it. I say yes. OK, and now it should boot up to the recovery media. Let's see if that happens. OK, here we go. So now loading files. So that's now booting off the, the USB stick. So I'll wait for that to load and we'll come back and do the restore. OK, initializing hardware. That looks good. This takes a few minutes to boot up. OK, there's the next screen coming up. OK, now it's loading the Paragon hard disk manager from the recovery media. Right, so when it loads, I get this screen here. It's already set up for restore operations, restore. And here it gives me a list of all my current disks and volumes on the system. So let's go and hit restore and see what we get. OK, now it's giving me, uh, I've got to select a backup image from the location where I stored it to. And I happen to know it's on my 8 terabyte disk. Let's open that up. Uh, and it's under Paragon Backups. There we are. And it's the one that says Windows 11. So we open that. There's another folder. We open that folder. We get another folder, and that's the one we select. OK, and then we go next. Uh, somewhere there. There we go. OK, now it's showing me, on the left, it's showing me the four volumes that it backed up. On the right, I've got to select the restore destination. Now, this is a little bit tricky. You've just got to sort of follow it. OK, well, my restore attempt to Windows 11 didn't work. So I had to go back here to Operations, Disk Operations, select a disk or volume, and then I had to select each of the four partitions on disk 0, which was Windows 10, and then I had to select the option, like, for example, I had to select the option Delete Partition, and go through that for each of the four partitions so now the entire disk is unallocated, OK? So now I'm going to go back into my Restore option and uh, see what happens now. Right, so I'm going to select my file, which is on my 8 terabyte disk under Paragon, under Windows 11, under that folder, and this one. OK, sorry. 
Right, so I've now selected my Windows 11 backup folder and I go next. Okay, and now the interesting thing is that the Windows 11 restore, sorry, the Windows 11 backup only has three volumes on it, whereas the Windows 10 had four. So there's a volume has disappeared somewhere. And I hope it's going to work because over here it automatically wants to uh, restore to the unallocated disk, which is now all empty. And I've already got the option to restore now. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hope for the best. Uh, yada, yada, yada. It's recommended to check restore point integrity. I haven't done that because... If if this doesn't work, I can go back and do that the next time. But then just restore without checking. And here we go. So I'll come back and uh, see how that works. Fingers crossed. Okay, well that uh, looks promising. Now for the big test, I need to go into the BIOS, change the boot order back to the hard disk. And let's see if she'll boot up. Okay, will it? Or won't it? Huh? That sounds like Windows 11. Hey! Bada boom! One. Welcome, it says. And there we are. So, operation success. So it's worth having a backup like that. And uh, I think it's worth what I did there to prove that the restore will work. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. So, talk to you soon.